Okay guys, uh, today we'll be modeling a crystal up. Uh, let me show an example, like so. We're going to model this exact thing in Adobe Dimension. So let's get started. Right, now let's go to our basic shape. I'm going to use the sphere. Then I'll duplicate that as well and put it aside for now. Right. So now what we're going to do is we'll focus on the material, then later on we model the base. What we'll be doing right now is on the material section, I'll apply wax to my base. Uh, before then, let's let's rename that this as base and this as outer layer, base and outer, right. Okay in our in our wax let's do let's change a few parameters i'm going to keep the roughness to 100 percent and leave metallic and glow and in the translucency i'll change the color to i'll change this color to dark yellow like so and for the base color i'll give it something bluish something blue like so right blue like like so and translucency i'll keep it 100 percent and leave the density and the index of refraction i'll give it about 1.3 1.38 yeah okay we're cool with that let's check the preview now you can see anything yet it's just dark blue wax thing and now we are going to add our glow object. I'm going to use a cone and I'll reduce the size. Let's reduce the size to like so, something like that. And bring it downwards. Right, I'm going to bring it inside. This is going to be our glow object. So let's go ahead and then give it a glowing material. Now, if you check the preview, you see that it's way outside our, way outside what we one it's has too much okay what we'll be doing next is for the glow object i'll leave it and then keep the trans translucency as such but i'll i'll change the interior color to something like blue light blue so let's check the preview again and uh, you don't see anything yet now this is coming into play before then let's scale it to 1.1 let's scale it to a higher bigger than the its normal size 1 1 1 1 on all axis okay we're going to bring it inside and we are done let's give it zero so it fits perfectly and we're going to give it a simple glass material and let's check our preview again and we are getting there almost i'll give it a cool material again about blue like so and go straight to the index uh, translucency and change the interior color to something red darker let's check the preview again right i'll give the index of refraction about one point away as well 1.38 I'll leave it as such let's increase the color a bit check again cool now all we got to do is change our glowing object a bit more well then let's rename it as glow so don't mess it up I'll double click on the icon and then change the color of glowing to something ready something about right like so now let's check the preview again we're getting there we are getting closer right now what we need to do is change our let's bring it down a bit i'll give it about one five one five five something like that so let's check the preview uh-huh right now let's push it to the center of our of 
object in the center. You eyeball it and then push it at the center. And we will center this as well. We we'll center our base as well. Push it outside and it's in the center. And let's do the print. Hold. Let's give the glow a bit more a higher pace. Right. Now we are almost done. And I think what we need to do right now is I'll give this a darker color. Let's model our base and then position it well and we are good to go. To do so I'll I will hide all my my previous model first and I'm going to add a simple capsule. So straight down here and I'll move it way down and duplicate that, bring it upwards and rescale that to give it 0 0.7, 0 0.7, yeah, this is cool, I'll reduce it a bit more. Now we're going to add our basic shape, a torus and change our radius to 8. And change the pipe radius to 0.7 and bring it upwards. Yep. Now we're going to model something to hold the two together. I'll use my cube. Scale it from X axis to, to so. And from the Z axis, scale it more. And let's bring it down like so. Right. Uh, now we're going to duplicate it three times and push all aside. Push each one aside. Bring this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now. You can choose to add a base and then it hold all of them, but I'll add, I'm going to rotate it so it fits in. And you bring it inside a bit. Okay, it's cool like so. Let's quickly give it the material and let's get down with it. And for this, for the terrors, I'll give it a metal. For this, for the inner base, I'll give it a rainbow anodized material. And for the base itself, I'll go way down and then give it a wood pocket. A wood pack or pocket or whatever you call that. I'll give the holders the same pocket as well. Yep. And we cool. You're good like so. It's preview. Okay. Now let's enable all other all other objects and let's get done with it. Yep. So we bring this upwards a bit to fit. Oh no. Yep, let's bring it so it fits a bit like so. And let's check the preview. Oh, it's getting so cool. Like so. See what I mean? Alright. I think 
now we need to position our lighting and other stuff and the camera even the camera angle we need to position that as well and uh, i'm going to add another glow object i'll give it a, a glow of low value yeah let's let me bring it down and even scale it a bit more let's say points come on point one point three show that again right we are closer to that okay now we need to position our camera but first let's give it a good lighting i'm going to use sun for my light i'll choose sun and i'll choose from this direction i'll choose where the global light is enable core intensity i'll go back and then adjust the global light as well like so let's check the preview right it's getting there but the sun is too much the sun is too much so i might reduce the intensity say 99 and give a rotation outside of it. cool let's give enough reflection so it's reflect on the ground and now what we're going to do is save our file save it anyway anything glow 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 crystal yep you save now we're going to render it and then we are done literally we are done you can you can just stop the video from now all i'm going to do is render it pause it and then when it's done i show it the final render and we are done so i'll go ahead and then click my render click here i'll choose png because i'm not going to edit it further in photoshop i'll choose high quality and i already have my name so i'll click render and we are going to wait for it to get rendered all right guys i'll come back to you when it's finally done thank you for watching it's always